And tonight I want to tell you what we plan to do about the issues which are most on your minds. Security, jobs, healing the nation's wounds, and the political process. Everyone we spoke to said security was their first priority and that we should use Iraqis to provide security. Security is our top priority too. Threats to your security come from members of the former regime's intelligence services and Republican guards and from foreign terrorists. These groups do not want a democratic Iraq. They must be defeated. Today, the coalition has over 130,000 troops providing security in Iraq. We recognize that we cannot provide real security unless Iraqis stand shoulder to shoulder with us. Our training of an Iraqi army and an Iraqi police service continues at an extraordinary pace. Sunday, the Minister of Defense announced his appointment of the top Iraqi generals in the new Iraqi army. Iraqi officers drawn almost entirely from the many honorable men of the former Iraqi army already command these forces. Over 70% of the men in the Iraqi army and Iraqi Civil Defense Corps served honorably in the former army. They have asked to serve their country again and we welcome their renewed service. <laughs> Our patience is not eternal, and uh, if we don't start seeing some results of these discussions, some good faith efforts on the part of the enemy, uh, we are prepared to end the suspension of offensive operations and resume them. Are we talking about a week here, General? Or? Uh, I think we're talking days. <laughs>